All right, so if we're going to talk about uh, camera artifacts, um, there's a couple things we need to consider as a compositor. Um, so a lot of the times, like I said, you know, back up here with our, you know, our people who are giving us stuff, um, these renders will be coming to you, you know, out of a computer. They're coming out of Maya or a Blender or 3ds Max or something like that. They're com or Cinema 4D. Um, they're coming from a perfect world that is not filmed. Um, so when we're thinking about uh, compositing something into the real world, we need to actually damage that, that footage a little bit. We want to make it a little bit grainy. We want to add a little bit of messed up edges. Uh, so that's actually what we're doing. So there's a couple of things that we need to think about. The first one is called chromatic aberration. Um, and there's many, many different lens effects, but these are the main ones that uh, you'll be seeing every single time you composite something in CG. Uh, so chromatic aberration is the bending of light in the lens in an imperfect way. Uh, so some of the light is coming through the lens uh, at an angle that uh, is starting to distort the, the color a little bit. And so what that does, if we look close, if we look at highlights, uh, and this is filmed through a Sony lens, a Sony Zeiss lens, uh, so more expensive lenses have less um, chromatic aberration. Um, but you know, you'll still see some of that chromatic aberration. Actually, sometimes uh, directors will film intentionally to get that effect because they like that effect. Um, but if we look at what chromatic aberration is, if we see these white highlights over here, if we look just on the edge, um, we see that there's a little bit of a green uh, like kind of fringe uh, around the edge, and that's chromatic aberration. It's the splitting of light coming through the lens. Um, so the rays of light are not perfectly parallel. We know that this a, it's a white light, um, but the edges are a little bit, um, a little bit of chromatic aberration. Uh, so that can happen, and it can happen with different colors as well. So um, you know, sometimes you can have a little bit of purple on the edge. Sometimes you can have a little bit of red and blue. Um, so that's something you need to like zoom in and you look around, you look at your edges, and you say, okay, do I see any edges that have chromatic aberration when I'm putting my CG in, and can I match that? Um, so that is something to think about. Let me actually grab the main footage because I actually, the, the real plate that we're using is this one. And this one has really clear chromatic aberration on it. Uh, you can see here's the, again, the green around the edge. Um, but if we look up here, you know, here's, there it is again. We see some kind of bright green on the edge. Uh, we actually see some purple, uh, a little bit of purple on some of these edges. So green and purple are showing up in this footage. So we're gonna actually ha learn how to match that chromatic aberration, that lens um, kind of uh, distortion that's happening. It's not lens distortion, but it's you know that's that's something to, to think about. You see with that that blue edge, kind of cyan uh, looking edge on the edges here. So that's chromatic aberration. The other thing we need to think about is camera defocus. Um, so if something is out of focus, it's a bit blurry. Uh, this is a pretty simple one. You don't really have to. It's kind of self-explanatory. Uh, you know, if we look at our plate here and we look at this ground, we see all the edges are pretty sharp. There's not a lot of like blurring happening. But if we look further away, we can see our rocks are a bit out of focus. They're a bit blurry. Um, so if we're adding something CG, we need to consider where it is in space and if it's out of focus or if it's in focus. Um, sometimes it can be in and out of focus at the same time. So we're going to learn about depth of field once we get to the defocusing lecture and how to fade things in and out of focus based on the depth from the real camera. So we're going to learn about that. Um, and then we also have an, uh, a, uh, kind of a um, effect that's happening. And these little uh, out of focus dots, there is an actual term for them and they're called bokeh. Uh, so it's spelled like this. It looks like it's spelled boca, but it's actually pronounced bokeh. And um, so we're going to be uh, learning how to create those. And, how, and, and when we place something out of focus, how to make it have that bokeh effect. Um, so I actually took a picture of just the light. So this is with the same camera, um, just with a little something on the floor um, and really, really out of focus. And you see, you know, that's a bokeh um, being created. It's, it's, it's kind of... The way the light is coming through the lens, um, you know, different lenses will produce different bokeh. So you can actually Google images, type in bokeh, B O 
K E H and you're going to see all kinds of different bokeh effects and you'll see it a lot in photography because it's really artistic and you can actually use it in a way that is really um, really aesthetic if you do it the right way um, so that's pretty much it and also the other one we have um, a little bit that we might talk about is glint but this one actually might belong more in the next lesson uh, so we'll go on to that next